everybody. This is Megan Antonelli. Welcome to Health Impact Live Digital Health Talks. I'm thrilled to introduce our distinguished guest, Caroline Cahill, Chief Operating Officer of Tivity Health. With her strategic performance-driven approach, Caroline has been instrumental in enhancing operations, forging forging crucial partnerships at Tivity Health. Her expertise in Medicare and commercial wellness benefits, combined with her passion for lifestyle medicine, makes her the perfect speaker for today's topic. We're going to talk about empowering aging in place and holistic healthcare at home. Hi, Caroline. Nice to meet you. Uh, Glad you could join us. How are you today? I'm great. Thank you so much for having me. I'm very excited to be here with you today. Me too. Um, You know, we talked a little bit about your background before we got started, Um, fellow uh, New Yorkers as it it is, but uh, displaced to the West Coast, I guess. But tell us, tell our audience a little bit about your background and how you uh, made your way to Tivity. Yeah. So I am, like you said, from New York. I hail from Strong Island, as as they call it. (laughs) Um, and I've been living out, out here in Arizona for 20 years. When I moved out to Arizona, I had the luxury of, you know, evaluating what I was passionate about. And what I was passionate about was the impact of lifestyle on health. And so I made a very big career change and went into fitness and wellness and, you know, that kind of, um, like loosely lifestyle medicine uh, part of the of the industry and found my way to Tivity Health. And at the time, Tivity Health was developing a really cool program for seniors and it was part of their health plan benefit. Um, and that program way back when, I won't age myself too much, but way back when was Silver Sneakers. And I've had the honor of being part of it for a very long time now. And building it to now, it's over 19 million people are eligible for Silver Sneakers. And that just makes me so proud of the fact that this program has that kind of reach and has that positive impact on people's lives. That's amazing. I mean, I I remember Silver Sneakers um, back from, you know, probably 20 years ago, maybe um, doing, doing uh, Medicare Advantage events, you know, conferences, bringing people together around this. And Silver Sneakers was such a, you know, sort of innovative, but also simple approach, you know, to getting people to become more active and changing behaviors, you know, Um, tell us a little bit about about the approach. Yeah, it, it, and you're absolutely right. It is a very simple approach, right? Because the idea behind it is how can we get as many people involved in their health and wellness? And the way that we do that is by offering over 30,000 gyms across the country um, where people can access the Silver Sneakers benefit. And it's as simple as walking into a gym asking do you have silver sneakers and you know signing up at the gym and then it includes a whole lot more but at its simplest and probably going back to you know when you were first involved in it that core has remained tried and true till now so that is the core of it Mm -hmm. yeah that's amazing and tell us a little bit about you know what some of those levers are to success, to getting people engaged in their own healthcare and, and, you know, sort of that holistic approach. Yeah, I think it's honestly just taking the first step, right? So the first step is finding out that you have that kind of program available to you. Um, It's wonderful that so many Medicare Advantage and Medicare Supplement health plans offer this as part of their benefit package. And really, you know, it, it, gives members an opportunity to have something that they're not necessarily paying extra for. And it makes fitness, exercise, wellness communities so much more accessible to them. And so by, you know, taking that first step, making sure that you're eligible for the program and, you know, you can either use one of the facilities that's partnered with us across the country or for others who, you know, maybe don't want to walk into a gym just yet. We do have um, online programs as well. And those are interactive. They're live. It's not necessarily just pre-recorded. So we are always looking to foster along with the exercise, along with the improvements and how, you know, you take strides towards your health. We're also always fostering community. How can you get to know other people 
who share your same goals and together support each other and work towards those goals because we know that we all are much more successful when we have that kind of support system. Right. Yeah, no, community and sort of that motivation behind it is such a big piece of, of you know, keeping at uh, behavioral change and exercise and habits. Um, but also during, you know, I think we saw a lot of, you know, and hear a lot about loneliness with our, our older population and how they can be a part of that. So that that makes sense in terms of, you know, that, that piece of it. Tell us a little bit about, um, you know, what are, you know, the community being one of them? What are some of the re- real key success factors to, to the program and, and some of the examples that you've seen? Yeah, I, I would say, one, our, our gym partners are a tremendous part of that success, right? And how they have welcomed a population that nece- wasn't necessarily the target of the fitness industry, right? And they've welcomed our members with open arms They have done activities and and all kinds of events for them. They have um, the instructors, the the following that our members have around instructors who teach Silver Sneakers programming and how those instructors have fostered a sense of community throughout the country, as well as I love, Megan, when I hear stories of oh, we met at a Silver Sneakers class and we started dating and we got married or, you know, this person has become my best friend and I met them through Silver Sneakers. To me, you can't put a price on that kind of thing, right? And this is all happening while people are improving their health by exercising, by getting out there, people driving one another to the Silver Sneakers class or to the gym together, I can't tell you about the number of um, coffee clubs that exist around, you know, just an opportunity for people to create community um, to, you know, address this loneliness problem that we hear about so much. I was looking up um, a stat on loneliness and the NIH estimates it to be a $6.7 billion problem, right? The fact that we can make any kind of incremental improvements to that is so meaningful um, and and so impactful on our society. Yeah, and I mean, that coupled with obviously the benefits of exercise and, you know, the obesity problems and and Mm -hmm. all of that, that this would, um, you know, be able to combat both of those things through that holistic approach. What oh, about, I mean, and when I say simple, because of course, getting people to to exercise is by no means simple, right? Yeah. It, it takes a lot and it takes a lot of different um, levers to to create that change and, and you know, impact the their behavior around it, what does Tivity do um, with technology to make these programs more accessible to seniors? Yeah, it's a good question. And, you know, as ever since the pandemic, our world is so much more technologically focused, right? And that is goes the same for silver sneakers. Um, before the pandemic, we probably had less technology to offer our members. But since then, one of the most successful offerings that we have is what we call Silver Sneakers Live. And if you're a member, you get to join a live community. So it's not pre-recorded. Um, with an instructor, uh, one of our best instructors, actually, because it's our hand-picked team of, like, train-the-trainer instructors. And you get to attend an interactive live class. I mean, we have over 200 a week um, that people can choose from. And, and it includes everything from, like, mind mindfulness classes to more um, high-intensity activities and the interaction that happens, um, the the chats, the the way that people are interacting with the instructor, the love letters we get back, the, those are the best. The love letters we get back for things like, you know, before I started taking this class, I wasn't able to, you, you know, walk across the room because I had just had surgery. And because of the progress of continually taking this class daily or, you know, however many times a week, 
I have made such improvements. My doctor is so impressed. And it, the, the physical benefits are enormous. But to me, the level of confidence, the level of self-assurance, the level that people have of, oh, I don't have to worry about falling. Like falls are so expensive for us as a country and for the healthcare system. I think the, the last count was 50 billion is spent on falls annually. So to give someone that assurance, to give someone that confidence, to give someone a path to get stronger, no matter the age, is so, so important. Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, falls are often the, you know, they're the biggest indicator of kind yes. of deteriorating health too, right? Yes, so sure. getting in there to prevent them and, you know, it's amazing. I mean, you know, on one level, it's like you see now the things that, you know, when you're, it's like the new 40 or they show the golden girls yeah. when the golden girls, you know, and they were like 45 and, you know, we think of them as 60, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's the fact that people have, you know, sort of built exercise into their lifestyle that has kept people younger. I mean, yeah, there's also some other things that help, but <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> but no exercise matter. is the leading indicator of, of health, you know, it's in terms so of. It's so true. And like we were talking about before the podcast, like if you do anything, it's like just start, even if it's 15 minutes a day, um, the impact that exercise has on everything from mood to um, mental health issues, to sleep, to weight management, to diabetes control. Um, and that's aside from like all the, the health care stuff that we talked about, like the fall prevention, the loneliness, the you know lower back pain. If it were a pill, it would be the most expensive pill, honestly. <laughs> the most effective and the most expensive. And right. Don't, you know, I, whoever's listening to this, don't overwhelm yourself by thinking, oh, I need to do high intensity interval training or just 15 minutes of whatever it is, even walking. Like I I was looking over um, some research that said 8,000 steps a day is like the level of that should be your minimum daily because it improves all cause mortality. Like right. that's so easy to do right although easier when you're a new yorker <laughs> always always <laughs> that's yeah. when i've found that i have moved out of new york it it's amazing how much harder it is to get to that eight thousand or ten thousand mm -hmm. uh benchmark but it isn't hard it's but just you bring down. up a good point though because you know in new york it's so woven into the fabric of your day right Mm -hmm. So how can you incrementally, little by little, weave that into your day? So like maybe you start parking a little bit farther every time, right? Or maybe you, you know, do another lap around the grocery store, make sure you didn't forget everything. It's all those little things really do add up. Although no, nothing's going to beat those subway stairs though. Right, no, that is true. <laughs> Particularly the ones at Grand Central. But yes, <laughs> no, it is. But that, you know, and I think, the th great thing about the Silver Sneakers program has been the the reminders and the simple, you know, the simple kind of education around that mm -hmm. and the communication to make it, you know, this isn't about high intensity training or, you know, making sure that you've started some, you know, that you're running marathons. It's the the little things you do in life to, to keep that health, health, you know, health and exercise around you. What about in terms of, you know, we talked about loneliness, we've talked about community what are some of the specific programs or I guess, are there specific programs around kind of that linkage between mental health and physical health that the activity is doing for seniors? Yeah, we're doing a lot more in terms of um, cognitive health, mental health. Um, and it starts, you know, it's again, it, it bleeds into all areas of life, but even focusing on mindfulness, meditation, all those things do contribute. Um, yoga is one of our popular offerings. Tai Chi is one of our popular offerings. We don't always make the link of how can cogn cognitive health improve through exercise. But honestly, exercise is one of the, the greatest interventions. I know I sound like a broken record, but it's one of the greatest interventions for um staving off mental uh, decline and, you know, some of what comes with that. 
And so yeah. we have classes that focus specifically on um, cognitive health. But again, any kind of exercise you do is going to help your cognitive health. Yeah, no, absolutely. And what about, I mean, the idea around, and we've heard it, it the phrase used and, you know, sort of this aging in place mm. and, you know, kind of what does that, what does that mean um, yeah. to Tivity or to, you know, in, in the world of this? Yeah. So as more and more of us get older, right? Because more, well, I think it's 11,000 people a day turn 65. I think that's the latest number. Uh -huh. So as more and more of us get older, we know that like the healthcare system or the senior living um, options are not going to be able to accommodate everybody as they age. Right. And I think it's fair to say all of us, if not the majority of us, want to stay in our homes, have independent lives for as long as possible. And I think that's what is often meant when the, you know, aging in place is referenced. So how do you best do that? Well, I mean, basic things, right? You need to be able to get up if you fall. You need to be able to, you know, go from a seated position to standing unassisted so that you can maneuver around your house, right? You're going to need to to know how to be able to maybe climb up on a ladder and change the light bulb without fearing falling. All that kind of stuff comes through one, self-assurance, right? That if I do that, I'm not going to put myself at risk, but also strength, right? Strength, mm -hmm. mobility, range of motion. Those are all the things that are core to the Silver Sneakers programming that's available, Um it, you know, again, falls really become a problem because people break hips, they break, you know, bones. If you are doing weight bearing training, your bones are stronger. Um, if you were worried about if I reach up, am I going to be able to like, am I going to pull a muscle? Well, range of motion exercises help that. All those things function to allow you to live independently longer reaction times for driving right like all of this all it all goes back to exercise megan everybody needs to right. exercise yeah yeah well and that's you know i think everybody it's like you think about i mean certainly with our parents and as we look to aging you know the idea of being in a nursing home and and you know some you know the, that type of living that not only is expensive mm -hmm. um but isolating and not with our families or where we want to be. So, you know, and you see that converging with, you know, sort of this move towards home-based healthcare and, you know, what's possible, right? I mean, we can have doctor's appointments over our phones now, you know, we, you know, can't quite get surgery that way. You still have to go into the hospital. There's certain things that will always be done in the hospital, but, you know, certainly exercise. I mean, we've seen the, the, you know, there's, home-based gyms and home-based healthcare around, around that kind of stuff. So um, tell me a little bit where, you know, where does Tivity see its role as that becomes um, even more of a reality? Yeah, I think Tivity's role in that is to as early as possible. And again, this, this, the good thing is the, most of our society now recognizes the value of exercise, right? And more and more as, people become Silver Sneakers members, more of them have some sort of experience with exercise versus like my parents' generation, that was not the norm. Mm -hmm. And so Tivity's role in that one is to provide you as someone who's turned 65 with a benefit that's at no additional cost to you. So that's one piece of it where you don't have to worry about, okay, I have to you know find the money to, to do this. Two, to provide you with programming that is going to take into account anything that you might be considering at 65 or older. Like maybe you've had an injury, maybe you, you know, you were a former athlete and you're dealing with, you know, different um, mobility issues. Maybe you're somebody who's just getting started or maybe you're that marathon runner, right? Who's been doing this for years and years. And how it's Tivity's job to provide something for everyone and to say, here's an option for you, no matter where you are on your you know, health and wellness journey, no matter where you are on your fitness journey. And this will keep you 
independent for as long as possible and hopefully indefinitely. Right. So if, you know, tell me a little bit about how Medicare Advantage members now yes. are getting this information. Like when you said it's not, was it 19 million that are eligible for yes. this? Yeah. You know, how, how is it that we get to the point where they're all using it? That's you know, right. what, where are they getting that information? Yeah. Is it coming from their, their insurance company? Is it email? Is it a brochure that they get? Is it their, also their doctors, you know, making them aware of it? What, what's yeah. the, what's the ideal communication, I guess is. is the, the, yeah. The ideal communication is all the above, right? Like this is such a, a vast program and just, that health and wellness journey really should be coming from all those directions because we're, we're creatures of habit. And the more we hear something, the more something is repeated. That's when it begins to sink in the simplest, simplest way. If you don't know what health plan you have, if you don't know anything, just go to silversneakers.com and we will guide you through the process to see if you do have the benefit. And even if you don't have the benefit, we believe in this so much that we include um, free content for those who might not have the benefit. We can also guide you to health plans that offer it. Most of the time you'll hear about silver sneakers during AEP or at the beginning of the year because that's when people start to think about fitness programs, but do not let that stop you. Like go to the website, we'll ask you a few simple questions, We'll tell you if you're eligible. We'll show you a gym that's nearby. We'll give you options for if you want to, you know, do your exercise program at home. That's an option too. So just just make the commitment. 15 minutes a day. Start there. Now, absolutely. And I think, have you guys done, I mean, one of the things that we talk about, and I think we talk about a lot with digital health, you know, just whether it's apps and wearables and, um, you know, the value and the evidence behind them. And I think that, you know, with this, it's like when people use it, they see results. That's right. Do you guys do any, you know, publish any research around that? Do you have like member data that you share yeah. that shows shows the value of these programs? Yeah, I, you know, we do a lot in terms of data. We are a very, very data-driven organization. Ultimately, we're answering to health plans, right? And health plans love to crunch numbers. They love to see results. We also want to keep a pulse on the Silver Sneakers member and what that member is looking for. So we have a multitude of different ways that we gather that data and we do publish um, research uh, based on that. And I can send you some some links to like right. one of the, yeah, one of the ones that is used quite often is one that shows that people who engage in the silver sneakers program have less hospitalization um, than those who don't. So I can, I can follow up and send you some links to some of our research. And, yeah, that's perfect. Um, and we can yeah. add them to the, the yeah. feed when it comes through, but yeah, no, I mean, it is, you know, I think that um, that research, but I think also because you're, you are, working with the payers and they are so data driven, um, you know, it speaks to both the longevity and the success yeah. of the program, right? Because yeah. not only by the, just sort of the nature of that model, you've mm -hmm. had to, to sort of cater to that, but, but prove the value, um, you know, because that's what they're looking for. So. Yeah, that's exactly right. If it, if it did not have the data behind it, if it did not have the cost savings, behind it, it wouldn't have survived 30 years. Right. With MA plans, especially. Right. Right. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> it's remarkable that MA has survived as long. <laughs> um, it's it so it's working. Um, yeah. uh, but it is, um, yeah, no, that's great. Well, as you look to, you know, what's next, um, yeah. you know, are there sort of integrations happening? How do you guys look at the, you know, that digital play um, of, of what's going on? What's the, mm -hmm. what's, what does the next frontier look like? I think the next frontier is a, a lot of personalization, right? So we're hearing a lot about data and AI and, you know, like all, all that is very much in the, in the news lately. 
are there ways to customize the program so that it's meaningful for each individual member, different ways that we can do that. And then also a lot of um, emphasis on, all right, well, how do you more specifically maybe tackle things like diabetes management? How do you more specifically tackle things like um, uh, fall prevention in different ways? I think there's a lot of that coming um, and then always like we have a killer team that develops programming that takes into account a variety of different things, whether it's age, whether it's activity level, whether it's chronic conditions, that's always happening in the background. And then how do we get that out? Um, and also always, always like, how do we get more and more people um, involved so that they're getting the benefits, be it from the sense of community or from the physical benefits or from, you know, even educational material as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's an interesting time. I think we just had Raj Agawal on the show um, and he's with uh, 2030 Health and, you know, just looking at what does it look like? And obviously there's also the impact of GLP-1s on, you know, mm -hmm. specifically around obesity management and weight management, but, you know, the importance of exercise never goes away. And in fact, even with those, I think it's more so because there's, um, you know, evidence, you know, as you lose weight, you need to really work on maintaining your muscle mass. And yeah. so that physical activity becomes even more important. Um, are you seeing, you know, sort of discussions around that, particularly with the pairs of how there's, how there could be a linkage there, or is that maybe to come? Yes, we, we definitely are. And there's certainly more conversation on that topic as a whole. But I think you said it very well in that even aside from weight management, the benefits of exercise, like to go back to, you know, cognitive health, right, and to stave off cognitive decline. I think we as a culture have have always correlated like weight management with exercise and more and more the research is showing it's so much broader, right? So what I like about things like the GLP ones is it's giving people the confidence to then begin an exercise regimen. Um, and that's a real thing, you know, like sometimes walking into a gym can be super intimidating. And so our job is to give people as many options as possible so that one of those options speaks to each individual. And so maybe I'm not ready to set foot in a gym, but I'm okay, you know, doing an online live class where people don't have to see me yet, but I, I kind of feel like I'm part of something or I am able to engage in a walking club in my community. Um, so again, the, our job is to provide options so that everyone feels like there is something for them. Right. And it is, it's that holistic approach and, you know, and in some cases, yes, weight is that barrier yeah. to then to exercise. And once you get beyond that, then exercise mm -hmm. is a lot easier, but it's, um, that holistic approach to all of this that then gets you to that place of, uh, you know, being able to both you know, improve your mental health, your, you know, lifestyle and, and, you know, your quality of living and, and hopefully even, you know, the, the length of your life. Right. Yes. Yes. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Caroline. Tell our audience how to, how to best reach you and, and um, find out more about Tivity in the Silver Sneakers program. Yes. So you can reach me or find out more about Tivity at um, TivityHealth.com. And to find out more about the Silver Sneakers program, it's silversneakers.com. And you can find out if you're eligible there as well. Um, and yeah, welcome that, you know, anybody does reach out. Would love to, would love to hear from the audience and, and continue the conversation. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Caroline. It's so great to hear about such a program with such longevity and really that's impacted millions of lives over the years. Um, so thanks for sharing your invaluable insights on empowering awesome. seniors to age in place. My pleasure, Megan. Thank you for having me on and always look forward to a conversation with a fellow New Yorker. So absolutely anytime. super anytime. fun. And hope, hopefully we can meet each other soon in New York. We can, uh, go to, go to the next health impact and have you on the stage in person. So that would, that be, would be wonderful. That would be great. 
All and right. then we'll go out and get some New York food after yes. that. <laughs> <laughs> some pizza and bagels, but we'll have to walk it off. Always. Yeah. <laughs> Always on the list. Those two yep, things. Yep. Yep. Uh, to our audience, thank you so much. Uh, remember, aging in place is not just possible, but it, it's a great and wonderful, healthy experience, and it will add years to your life. So don't hesitate to check out Silver Sneakers. We're all getting, you know, that the age where it's appropriate is coming faster than we know it. So um, thanks so much for joining us today, and we'll see you soon on another Digital Health Talks. Mm-hmm.